Sky Fire Laser. We have all you need on Fiber Laser. Hi everyone, welcome back to our DIY laser welder series. Today we will showcase how to connect our laser system, the water system, and the gas system into our laser welder head. And after that, we will do inspection to check if all these components are correctly assembled. First, we prepare a 12 mm diameter water pipe. This end, there's a low temperature return water on this water tank. Insert it in. This end, cut it off. On the laser's end, insert it into the output. Take another water pipe, connect it to our low temperature water storage to cut the other end to a suitable length. Insert it into the other end of the laser. Then, take out two water pipes. But the color doesn't matter. Transparent water out, yellow one here. These two can be set aside. Then, prepare a pipe with diameter by 10. Insert one end into the solenoid valve. This end is connected to a 10 to 6 straight through connector. To facilitate connecting with our laser welding gun, This is our gas pipe. Then take out our gun head. We have three pipes in the laser welding gun part. The blue and red ones are both water pipe and this one is well pipe. The air pipe is directly connected to the one we just attached. Next, let's connect to the gun head and the QBH part. First take out our gun head. On the gun head, we can see there is a lock here. There is an arrow here. Before starting, we make sure the triangle arrow aligns with the unlocked position. Then open it. We need to check if there is any dust inside. Use the UV light to check for dust inside. If there are reflective spots like this, we need to swap it off. Use our cotton swab, spray some alcohol, then use the light to remove the dust inside. There is a lot of dirty dust inside. Make sure the inside is clean. Otherwise, it would have burned fiber. Now, the inside is clean. There is no dust. Put the cap on to prevent dust from entering. Set it aside. Then take out the QBH and, and open it. Then, like before, use the light to check. 
to see if there are any floating dust particles. If there are, wipe them off. Next, we can see there is a window lens here. There is this cannot be dirt. We loosen it. There is a red dot on our QBH. The dot should lines with our gun head. Align this to a dot with this dot. Leave the middle hollow. Don't attach it to one side. Then loosen the lock we mentioned earlier. Turn this arrow over. Then tighten it. The fiber cannot be put out. There are two water path we selected earlier. First, trim both ends. This can be discarded. We have prepared two three-way connectors. Insert one on one side. This is the blue water inlet. This connect. Uh, our QBH also needs to be connected to the water. This way, this one can be removed. This inlet and outlet doesn't matter. The others. Water pipe on the other side. Connect the other end here. Now the connection between our QBH laser and the water tank is completed. Next, power on the equipment. Uh, connect the live wire and neutral wire accordingly and connect the yellow wire to the grounding copper plate. We prepare a bucket of purified water. Open the water tank lid here. There is water in that here. And there is a scale here. Add water according to the scale. Turn on the corresponding switches. The machine is now connected. So in this episode is finished, in next episode we will showcase the results of this machine. <laughs>